Today's CGTV broadcast brings you a story about the upcoming play here at the high school and a student who has an interesting story outside of school. Welcome back. Today is April 2nd, 2018. I'm Colby Daniel. And I'm Abigail. And we have a CTV broadcast brought to you by Sugar Freds. Coming up this Friday is a spring play. As the cast and crew prepare, Abigail Johnson went out to give us a preview. This Friday, Senegraph Theater's production of the play Sweet Surrender will open. Though many people are not exactly familiar with Sweet Surrender as they are with other shows. So Sweet Surrender is essentially about two diva stars that think that they get to stay in the same suite. The catch is though, they like really hate each other. Essentially, this is all about their rivalry and how the staff of the hotel can uh, just try and keep the two from meeting and interacting with each other. Sweet Surrender is very different from the musical Into the Woods that played this fall. The storyline is a lot different and Into the Woods was more like whimsical characters and characters from Grimm Brothers, but this is more, not modern because it's set in the 1940s, but it's more reality. Because the show has two very elaborate characters, there are certain things that need to be taken care of for the show to run perfectly. Um, the hardest part of the show is probably the props. There's a lot of picture frames and roses, and taking them in and out of a lot of scenes and setting them up and having to take them down again, it creates a lot of chaos. The cast is made up of 11 people and one dog, which is the first dog to be featured in a CG theater production since 2007. I mean, it's pretty cool, except I'm just constantly scared he's gonna pee on me, so that's like a little bit of a bummer, but he's cute, so it's okay. Tickets for Sweet Surrender are $8. Come to the show, described as a rip-tickling good time, on April 6th and 7th at 7 p.m. and April 8th at 2 p.m. Thinking about life after high school can raise a lot of questions, but not for Jacob Martin, who has a passion for construction. Yana Sequera br brings us the story. While many high schoolers are still making decisions about their futures and careers, sophomore Jacob Martin knows that his future includes his passion for construction. Um, I started off with Legos. Loved those as a kid and just grew from there. Um, during summer, I'm usually working with a construction crew. Last year, I took construction class, built a table. It's the nicest thing that I've built. <laughs> Along with construction, Martin also has an interest in 3D printing. I 3D print every white day during ninth period. It's just interesting how it works. Love watching it. Whatever the future may hold, Martin is confident that his passions will take him places. Now let's go to Kelsey for our sports update. Lots of action coming up for our spring sports this week. Softball has two away games tomorrow and Wednesday against Lawrence Central and Plainfield. Both games start at 5.30. The baseball team will have games the next three nights. Tonight against Greenwood Christian at home, then we'll play Lawrence Central in a home-and-home -home series at home on Tuesday and away Wednesday. All games start at 5.30. Girls tennis starts play tomorrow night at home against Columbus North and will play Wednesday night at Perry Meridian. Both matches start at 5. Finally, the girls track team has a meet at Pike at 5.30 tomorrow night. That's all we have for you today. Stay tuned for your general announcements and, and sports results over break.